Okay, as we continue to look at our progression of growth models, we're actually today going to convert from this concept we've been looking at, or the idea of sequences, or patterns of dots that have been growing. Now we're going to move into functions. These are growth models today that are talking about population. And so in sequences, we used the, the notation of n and f of n. In functions, we're going to convert now to the notation of x and f of x, or other names. Like today, we're going to use w and s of w, because it's asking us in this problem to use those two. And then in the second example, we're going to be using o and o of w for the growth populations of these different things. So anyways, we're making this conversion now over into functions. And we're going to be plugging in inputs to get outputs as well while looking at these growth models. So let's look at example one. Savannah accidentally left two sea monkeys alone in the fish tank. A week later, the number of sea monkeys tripled. So if they're talking about a week later, it means that over here, this is like time zero. The sea monkey population continued to triple each week. So when you see this word tripled, you definitely are thinking multiply. So this is going to be an exponential function. We were used to calling this a geometric sequence. We're now going to be looking at this as an exponential function because it's a function with the variable as the exponent. So let's go write the recursive and explicit and see how that looks. So again, they're telling us to use w and s of w as our function notation. So we're going to say s of 0 equal 2. There were two sea monkeys at the beginning. And then s of w equals s of w minus 1 times 3 for the tripling. And then for the explicit, begins with two sea monkeys multiplying by 3 each time to the power of w. Now, what does w stand for? w is my number of weeks that these sea monkeys have been multiplying. So when this one asks us for how many monkeys will there be in 70 days, we have to divide 70 by 7, 7 days in a week, to get 10 weeks. So when they're asking me to plug in, they're not wanting me to plug in 70. They're wanting me to plug in the number of weeks, which is 10 weeks. So plugging into the explicit, we go S of begins with 2 multiplying by 3 every time to the power of 10. So this time they're asking us to plug in 10 for our number of weeks. So we're going to go over to our Desmos and put 2 times 3 to the power of 10. Now if you had accidentally done 2 times 3 to the power of 70, look how big that number would have been. 5.00 times 10 to the 33rd. It's like, whoa, that's a lot of sea monkeys. Maybe too many, and maybe right there you might notice your error. So I'm looking at 118,098 sea monkeys. This is the 2 times 3 to the power of 10. So 118,098. So after 10 weeks, there would be 